a well, well, we welcome a well-known alumnus of Queen Elizabeth High School to the stage. This speaker has demonstrated great leadership to the city as, around, as well as the world, especially in the wake of last year's flood. Please help me welcome His Worship, Mayor Nahed Nenshi, to the stage. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm really here. As a matter of fact, um, I'm still in a council meeting. We thought we were being very smart, and we uh, organized for me to come at the beginning of your dinner so it would be during the council dinner break. And council decided they were just going to plow through and finish the agenda and skip the dinner break. So I've left Councillor Woolley in charge. You did what? I'm a little nervous. But I did want to be here with you today. I really wanted to be here with you today uh, to both celebrate the honorees tonight, uh, as well as to celebrate the role of public education in our community. So first of all, I just want to say personally to my good friends, Brian and Stephanie, congratulations. I don't even know where they are. Ah, there you are. One of the funny things about my job is that uh, I often will walk into a room and get ushered immediately to the stage before I have a chance to catch my breath while people are eating and so on. And then I'll stand up there and every single time I go, I hope I'm in the right room. <laughs> this is the Lions Club annual spring banquet, right? <laughs> no. Now that I know Brian and Stephanie in the room, I know I'm in the right place. These two folks are, as you all know and you'll hear more about tonight, tremendous pillars of our community, tremendous builders of who we are and what we stand for as Calgarians. And the fact that they're able to do what they do, such extraordinary work for the community, not to mention their extraordinary professional careers, talks about the power of public education. And I want to thank all of you for supporting publication, public education tonight, particularly for supporting the Future Leaders Fund. If you've ever heard me speak before, and I'm sorry that many of you have, you'll know that my favorite topic is the topic of opportunity. And how I talk about how somehow here in this corner of the frozen prairie, we have managed to create a society where every single person, regardless of what they look like or where they come from, regardless of how much money they have, regardless of whom they love, where every single person has the opportunity right here, right now, to live a great Canadian life. That, my friends, is the core strength of who we are. The core source of our prosperity, the core source of our success is not carbon atoms somewhere a few hundred kilometers away from here in the ground. The core source of our success and our prosperity is that we figured out that simple truth. That simple truth that evades so many in this broken world. That simple truth that we're all in it together. That our neighbor's strength is our strength, that our neighbor's pain is our pain that every single one of us has a stake in the success of every single other one of us. And the reason I mention that today is because for that to work, we need extraordinary public education. We need a public, accessible education system for everyone that gives every single child the opportunity to access the very best education in the world. That's how we build community. That's how we manage to get to our success when our young people have opportunity. And that's what we need to continue to focus on. You know, every year, I don't come every single year, but when I get the chance to come to this event, I tell a story about a school I visited. And today I want to tell you about a visit I had to GWC Skeen School. GW Skeen School, I'm going to tell you two stories actually, because I don't want to go back to council. <laughs> the first one is about GW Skeen School. GW Skeen School is a school in Pembroke Meadows across the street from my uncle's house where I spent much of my childhood. It is a school that caters to a lot of folks who are newer in Canada and to a lot of folks who are working very, very, very hard. They don't have a particularly functional parent council. In fact, I don't think they have one at all because the parents are very busy working shifts, continuing their work. And I had the opportunity to go to GW Skeen last year to inaugurate their new learning commons. The kids at the school had determined that they needed a better library that the library wasn't doing what they needed. And the parents and the teachers at the school also decided that a school in East Calgary should be offering the same opportunities as a school in West Calgary. 
And so they wrote a letter, they asked for some funding, and I was happy to be there at the inauguration of their new library. But in order for me to be there, they did a lot of work presenting to me what was going on in the school. Thoughtful work, top-notch work. As a matter of fact, I had just had a visit from one of the um, top private schools in the city where the grade six students presented their work to me on environment. And I will tell you, not only because I'm in the room I'm in, that the GW Skeen work on the environment was much better, much smarter, much more thoughtful. And I'm not saying that just to say, look, that's a great school. But when I was there and I looked at the resources that school had, the latest technology, the smart boards and the iMovie and the ability to use multimedia for the work that they did, and when I looked at those unbelievably dedicated teachers putting their heart and soul into making sure these kids had every opportunity every other kid in the city had, I understood the value of public education and the fact that we are able to offer these kids that kind of opportunity. And that's why it's so important that you're all here tonight working with Education Matters. The last story of the last school visit I'll tell you is the story of the school I was just at on Saturday. I was at Lord Beaverbrook High School. Now the last time I was at Lord Beaverbrook High School was for the launch of a book the school had written. This is an extraordinary project called From Blue to Red, which is about a mission to Mars. And uh, their colleague in doing that who mentored them through the whole thing was a guy you may have heard of, I think he just got a new job, called Bob Thirsk, who is, of course, an alumnus of Lord Beaverbrook High School. And the fact that he was willing to take that time and engage the entire school, the arts community, the music community, the English, everything, in creating this extraordinary book. The audio book was narrated by Diana Krall, if you can believe it. This is extraordinary work. And I hadn't been there for a couple of years. And I went just on Saturday for the inaugural high school poetry slam competition. Can you hear me now? And I watched kids from schools across the city, uh, all public schools, um, public and separate, competing with their own poetry and their own performance. And I tell you, it was extraordinary. Before I walked into that room, the fellow that I was with said, really, we're about to spend two hours listening to high school students read poetry that they wrote themselves. I don't need to know any more about Justin Bieber. <laughs> but the work was amazing, touching on image and success and power and sexuality and adolescence and what it means to be a teenager in today's society and technology. Extraordinary. And I thought to myself sitting in that room, this is public education. This, that kid whose parents came from the Philippines standing up here, even though her English is a little bit shaky and she speaks with an accent, getting a perfect 10.0 for me as the judge uh, for the incredible poetry she does. Folks, that's public education. That's what we do. That's what we do and that's what we inspire and that's what we fight for every single day. That's what Brian and Stephanie have fought for and continue to fight for, and that's the product that public education can have in our community. So thank you all so much for being here. Congratulations again to Brian and Stephanie, and let's keep fighting the good fight for public education. Oh my gosh, it's my high school graduation photo. Hey, what the? Oh. Looking good, eh? I'm not. I probably shouldn't be up here. <laughs> All right. Thank you once again, Mr. Mayor. Uh, you got to rush back to council, although there is space at table 36. If you want to stay for some grub, some soup and some salad, there's space at table 36. I'm just saying. All right.